I come for the rooms, but I stay for the view. Welcome to the days in Niagara Falls Falls View. Now I did have to specify Falls View because there are actually two days in in this location. There's this Falls View area here, and there's actually another touristy area called Clifton Hill. And that's where the other days in location actually is. While we're here though, why don't we give you guys a really quick room tour. So starting off, it looks like we have two double beds, um, which is fine. It looks like these rooms actually were recently renovated because I have stayed here before and I swear they had carpets. We also have this little TV entertainment, I guess, area with the little desk. Not bad. Little ice bucket there. Some drawers, so our stuff. Lamp, TV's okay. It looks decently clean. It looks okay. But uh, let's take a look at that bathroom. <laughs> It's small. Um, you can definitely hear the water running in here, but uh, that's okay. That's all right. At least it's water <laughs> and at least it runs. Uh, the shower area. You guys know how I feel about a shower curtain. I'm not the biggest fan of those, but um, honestly though, the shower does not look too bad. It's a bit dark actually. You can't really tell, but it's a bit dark in there. Uh, the bathroom itself though is, oh, we got a light, we got a man down. Okay, so when I first actually came in here, this light bulb wasn't working, so I tightened it. Now this one doesn't seem to be working, but anyway, very basic. It's clean enough. There's a couple, you know, spots on the floor and whatnot, but uh, it's really not all that bad. One thing I found a little bit unique actually was this front entrance here. They actually included a shoe mat, which I guess makes sense being in... Ontario, you know, we get all four seasons here. We really get all four seasons here. You get snow, you get rain, you get all kinds of dirt. So having a shoe mat probably does actually help keep the room clean. Um, as I say, there are a few little marks and things like that on the floor, as you can see. <laughs> but again, it's really not that bad. Right off the bat, I don't know if you can hear. It is very noisy here. The hallway is very noisy. I know they're doing a little bit of painting and things like that outside, but it's really noisy. Um, we also have an adjoining door. Our neighbors have already tried to break in several times, so hopefully they got the idea and they understand that this door is not meant to be open, so hopefully we don't have any visitors in the middle of the night. But anyway, um, all in all, it's really, it's not that bad of a room. There you go, once again, a little noisy. I'm gonna get into the cost at the very end of this video with my final thoughts, so make sure you just stay tuned to the very end to see that. Um, the reason why we're actually here, it is a long weekend in August, so it's a little expensive, but the reason why we're actually here is because Falls View Casino actually were gracious enough to provide us some free tickets to the Colin Jost show. It's an adjoining room. Hopefully that stops after this. Anyway, the reason why we're actually here is because Falls View Casino actually graced us with some comp tickets to see Colin Jost. Uh, we're really, really excited to see that. Um, I've actually had quite a few people say to me, how do you get these free rooms? How do you get these free tickets? How do you get these comps? So again, I'll get into that at the very end. I'll explain you know, how we get these, these little perks and things like that at the very end as well. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end. Anyway, in the meantime, we are gonna go try and find something to eat. Then we're gonna get ourselves ready, head to the show. Again, stay tuned to the very end and I will give you my final thoughts. Guys, we just finished at Tacos and Tequila. I mentioned that in one of my other videos, actually two of my other videos in Niagara Falls, so make sure you check it out. 
but make sure you make a reservation because they're always packed, they're always busy, there's always lineups. So go on open table or wherever you need to go and make a reservation. And make sure you see our friend Johnny because he's the best server there. But uh, anyway, we're heading back to the hotel right now. Um, we're gonna go see Colin Jost later, so we're gonna go freshen up, shower, and everything, and go check it out. So we'll t check back with you later. All right, guys, we're headed to Falls View Casino. So right behind me is the Days Inn. That's where we're staying right now. That's Falls View Casino. So it's like a five minute walk. It's really not that far away. Um, anyway, we're heading there now to go see Colin Joe. So we'll meet you there. Come on. This neighborhood is what you consider Falls View. This is where like Falls View Casino is. And yeah, there's a lot of hotels around here. As you can see, there's the Hilton back there. This is the Falls View Casino here. So there's quite a few, uh, quite a few hotels to choose from on this little, this little area here. So when I mention Falls View, like into my other videos, this is what I mean. Anyway, we're gonna head inside right now. that same evening all right guys so this is pretty crazy i already had 145 spins and i still have another 32 to go they just keep adding up and adding up and adding up i'm not looking crazy amounts of five ones over 200 bucks so let's see what this ends up being so i actually used to win like fairly regularly at falls view but the last like few years i have not been doing very well today $14. I put in about 20 and change. Anyway, did all right. So I'm very happy about that. So the cows were very good to me. Heidi, not so much. We're still playing right now. But uh, anyway, yeah, did all right. Look at those stairs there. Anyway, had a, a good little run in the casino. Um, Colin Joseph's really funny actually, it was a great show. He had two openers, both were great. One was another um, SNL writer, so it was really good. But uh, yeah, one comment. I don't think that 2008 called and needed a reprieve of the bump it. The person in front of me decided that tonight was the night, that it was gonna be all right to where the bump hits, and it wasn't because I was stuck flat behind her and couldn't see over said bump it. And it was just, it was a mess. It was a mess because I could not see anything that was going on. My head was bobbing and weaving. I, I felt like a, a, a rooster trying to keep up with the comedians on stage because one was over here and then the bump it and then it was over here and then the bump it. And anyway, it was a mess and just don't. Just don't wear the bump hits, leave them at home. We went home in 2008 where they belong. At the Asking on TV store in 2008. Because nobody, nobody asked for that. Snooky. Anyway, I think we're going to head back soon. Because I'm basically rich now after playing the casino for a little bit. So I might retire. Um, yeah. No more staying at these budget hotels in Niagara Falls because we're rich now. Anyway. We're gonna check in in the morning with you guys, um, do the final thoughts, do our review, and uh, we'll see you then, okay? Talk to you then. So these curtains keep moving and not staying shut, so I actually grab these hangers here with the clips and put them on there to keep them shut. And I gotta give credit where credit's due. Jay Cation from uh, San Diego actually taught me this, so shout out to Jay Cation. Um, He's got some great videos about Vegas, about San Diego, about all of his travels. So yeah, I gotta give him a shout out here. So shout out to Jay Cation for teaching me this little hanger hack. You're welcome. Good night. The next day. Good morning campers. I've got my trusty coffee here. Uh, you may have noticed in the room tour, there's no coffee machine actually in the room. But they do have free coffee at the front desk, and uh, yeah, it was hot and ready, so it's a good, debatable, but it was hot and it was ready, so 
Let's do this. So let's talk about the hotel itself. Um, it's a budget hotel at the end of the day. So, I mean, the room itself, it was relatively clean. I mean, there was a few things on the floor here and there. There was, you know, marks on the walls here and there. There was, <clears throat> you know, little things like that. It's not perfect. But I do like the fact that the floors aren't carpeted. I'm pretty sure they used to be because I have stayed here a handful of times before and I'm pretty sure they used to be carpeted. I do like the fact they're not carpeted because it does feel a little more clean in here. The bathroom, you guys, I hated the bathroom. <laughs> Um, the lighting was not the best. Uh, even when trying to get ready this morning, I did have a harder time. I had to actually come out to the, the main room and use the mirror there because I couldn't really see what I was doing in there. The shower was a nightmare, to be honest with you. It was dark. Getting the right water temperature was impossible because it had two, what, I don't know what they're called, not faucets. What are those things called? I don't know. It had a hot, I don't know what these, these things are called the shower comment below if you know what it's called the uh, it had a hot and a cold so it was just a constant cat and mouse of getting the right temperature and moving these things back and forth back and forth and you think you had an okay temperature but then all of a sudden it would start to get a really really hot or really really cold and if somebody else came into the bathroom to say flush the toilet or use the sink it just threw everything off again so yeah i i hate it i didn't even shower this morning and i usually shower Around twice a day and I thought this morning I thought screw it <laughs> I'm not doing it just a little extra deodorant and uh, we won't tell anybody surprisingly enough though I usually hate hotel soap and this one actually smelled pretty good so I was actually kind of shocked and surprised with that um, they weren't all the same toiletries I think that the conditioner was like dove but the rest of them were the same again I just used the soap so uh, it wasn't a huge deal to me but uh, yeah anyway the beds were not the best in my opinion at least uh, i think these were two double beds i think they do have other options for like a king or queen or whatever it is but i did not sleep the best if i'm honest with you um i do tend to have a harder time when i'm in a hotel i don't always get the best sleep because the pillows i sometimes struggle with these i found to be either too hard or too mushy i just couldn't quite get the right level as well i put two together and i found it was too high up i had just one i didn't feel high enough so yeah i did have a harder time actually sleeping and didn't get the best night's sleep so i was kind of eager just to get up and get the day started to be honest with you another big drawback to this room is the noise and i mean in every aspect you can hear everything that's going around we are right across from the laundry room as well so the hallway is just full of the cleaners and and sheets and bedding and things like that um it's very noisy and you know we had our neighbors I think they're even still trying to open the door for some reason, but uh, there is an adjoining door and I don't know how many times they tried to open it and get in here. And even then we could hear them quite often throughout the night. So um, yeah, it wasn't the best. Even things like the, the air conditioner unit is really loud. The When Cody was in the shower, I was in the bed and I could hear the water so so loud it was just brutal like it was it, it, the noise is definitely a problem here amenity wise there's not much here so there is an outdoor pool which is kind of a nice thing because usually a lot of these hotels will have indoor pools just because obviously being in canada our winters can be pretty bad so you know that pool is only going to be usable for probably what three months out of the year maximum so they actually do have an outdoor pool uh, they got a few palm trees out there i don't know i thought the setup was kind of nice <laughs> didn't use it but uh yeah it's right in the parking lot so it's kind of an awkward spot too but anyway yeah nice that they have a pool at least they have something here otherwise there's no restaurant on site nothing like that um there's a, you know some vending machines i think so if you you know want to grab a quick snack or a drink or something like that there are some vending machines and uh there actually is a breakfast or not breakfast there's a restaurant just next door that's uh, a lot of like meats and things like that. I think I forget, but it's some barbecue place. Um, there's also a My Cousin Vinny's across the street. So there's a few options. We walked a little bit down the street and that's where we ended up last night, tacos and tequila. So if you are in the area, definitely check that place out. That place is amazing. I'm on this like Mexican food kick as of late. I don't know why, but yeah, I really, really enjoy that place. Um, make sure you make a reservation though, because there's always a line up there. It's always busy, but uh, yeah, check it out. It's a great place. So the location, I mentioned in the beginning that uh, this is in the Falls View neighborhood. And you probably noticed by now, if you've watched a few of my videos, that that is the neighborhood I tend to stay when I'm at falls um i guess the main reason being it's closest to the 
Falls View Casino, and this has kind of just always been where I've stayed. There is um, another casino closer to Clifton Hill called uh, Casino Niagara. It's an older casino. Um, they don't really have the same kind of vibe. It's, they don't really have shows there. I think they have uh, yuck yucks like comedy shows there. At least they used to. I don't know if they still do. Uh, but that is more in the Clifton Hill area, which is probably the other main you know area in Niagara Falls. You got the Falls View neighborhood and the Clifton Hill neighborhood. If maybe you guys are going to disagree with me, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I kind of see Falls View. I sort of compare Niagara Falls to Vegas. I kind of see Falls View neighborhood like the Strip, and Clifton Hill. I kind of think of as like. Fremont Street so you know different vibe different people it's probably more families in uh, Clifton Hill there's more you know games and touristy attractions and things like that whereas Falls View the main focus is obviously Falls View Casino and uh, a lot of dining options around there anyway as for the neighborhood is, is where we are the days in it's uh it's, it's decent and I say decent because you're not right on Fallsview Boulevard. You're not even, I don't believe you're even on Stanley, which is sort of the next street over. You're the street behind that. So, I mean, you saw earlier when I showed you, you're like a five minute walk to the casino. So it's really not that far. You can drive there as well for in like, you know, a couple minutes, but to be honest with you, it's just easier just to walk over there for us. As for the price, this hotel typically is very budget friendly. So. Um, you know, when you're looking in this neighborhood, this one will come up as being one of the cheaper ones. Usually this weekend, it is a long weekend in Canada. We are here on a Friday night, checking out on a Saturday morning. So the prices were a little bit high. Now, what I always recommend doing is Googling the hotel that you want to stay at. Cause I used to use, you know, hotels.com and kayak and all these other places. My biggest recommendation is Google where you want to stay. And uh, usually on the side, it'll actually come up with a list of the different uh, prices depending on who you book it with. Put your dates in and it'll come up and you know, hotels.com is this price, uh, kayak is this price, um, the actual property itself has this price. And I do find that's the best way to do it because you kind of get a comparison in real time of all the prices. And sometimes those prices vary significantly. So I definitely, definitely recommend doing it that way. That's what I did for this cheapest rate I actually found was on snap travel um, after all was said and done after taxes and fees we paid about hundred and sixty dollars for this room which it's not great but when you're in the summer on a weekend especially a long weekend in Niagara Falls it's actually not a bad price to be honest with you I was seeing prices in you know in the 200s and up so yeah it's not bad um, the only downside as well though is it doesn't actually include parking so parking was an additional twenty dollars a night. Um, I did see something as well in my in my email with the confirmation that there's something like another thirty dollars or something like that for resort fees. I didn't get told about that though when I when I did check in and everything. So I don't know if that's actually going to be the case or not. They did put like a you know a credit hold or whatever. Which all hotels do that anyway in case of, you know damages or whatever. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look into that and let you guys know if it is on there. So let's presume it's not because they didn't mention it when I checked in. But again, $20 for parking. It's, again, I'm gonna say it again, as I've said it in every other Niagara Falls video, just include it in the price. I'm assuming that basically everybody who stays here is most likely driving here and most likely gonna need to park here. So just include it in the price. We actually had people when we were checking in who were so fed up with the check-in process because they were told it was an extra $20 for parking. It was an extra fee for a fridge, an extra fee for that. But they said, you know what? Screw it, we're leaving. And they two families, which was potentially, I guess, two rooms that could have been booked, left because they were so frustrated with the additional fees. They were told the price, then it was going to be this, and it was going to be this, and it was going to be this. And they just had enough and they said, we're going. I do wish them luck though, because I don't know where they would have stayed otherwise, because there's not a lot of other budget friendly hotels in this area, especially if you're booking last minute like that. I'm sure that wherever they did end up, they probably paid a hefty, hefty amount. And unless they stayed at like Holiday Inn or quality in, um, then they probably will also have to be paying for parking. And again, not a whole lot of places here actually come with a fridge as well. So I think they're gonna be, I think they were probably gonna have a hard time finding what they were looking for. So if you're that family and you're watching this video, let me know below in the comments, uh, where did you guys end up? And you know, did you get your fridge? <laughs> anyway, that was sort of 
I tried to make that as concise as possible, so I apologize if I rambled on for too long. Um, I know some of my videos end up being like over 20 minutes, and I feel like some of y'all don't have the attention span to listen to me blabber for that long. So uh, I am trying to make the videos a little bit shorter, but let me know in the comments if you're team short video or team long video. Um, either way, there you go, there's some of the noise. Now, as for the part that I did mention at the beginning of the video, how do I get all these free things? How do I get free show tickets? How do I get free hotel stays? How do I get comp this, comp that? The easiest way to answer that is signing up for a casino card. I know other people I've spoken to have said, oh, I don't want the casino tracking what I'm doing, what I'm spending, and yada, yada, yada. Honestly, who cares? Unless you're doing something really, really shady, who cares really at the end of the day? Um, I'm not a big gambler by all means. Last night I literally put $20 in the machine. Yes, I ended up playing for a while because I kept getting bonuses and, and whatnot, but I literally put $20 in the machine. And that's typically what I will do, unless I'm you know really, really having one of those nights, I'll keep putting another 20, another 20, but I'm not a big gambler. Um, but even with that, I still do get comps. I still do get you know free show tickets and things like that. Fallsview Casino recently did change hands about two years ago, I believe, and um, there's been some comments about how people aren't as thrilled with the way the comps have been set up. Um, for example, I used to get free buffets or you know free uh, certain dollar amount per month to spend you know in their deli and things like that. I know they did only just recently reopen their buffet, but as far as I know, I still don't have any comps for that, and I still don't have any food comps at all. Um, hotel prices as well, I still don't get the best rates there. Uh, my mom gets free rooms all the time, so she's obviously <laughs> very lucky in that regard. Um, but I do get free show tickets. So last night's tickets that uh, when we saw Colin Joe's, that was because I have a casino card, and uh, yeah, it was just one of the comps I was given. So uh, shout out to Falls View Casino. Thank you so much for the uh, the, uh, the comp tickets for Colin Joe's last night. That was a, a great show. And a little side piece to that, if you're going to a show, unfortunately we were on the, the floors, which and usually would be a good thing. But I sat next behind a woman who thought it was a good idea to wear her hair up. And like I said to you guys last night, I was you know dodging my head back and forth whenever she moved or whenever the comedians would go back and forth. And it was, it was really frustrating. But anyway, just be mindful, I guess, if you can, if you're in a show setting like that, maybe don't wear your hair up. But yeah, back to what I was saying, sign up for a casino card. Um, for example, at Caesars and Windsor, I get free rooms there all the time. I get free uh, shows. Um, yeah, just sign up. And then whenever you are playing, make sure you put your card in the machine. Make sure it lights up green, because sometimes if it lights up red, then that means it didn't work. So make sure it lights up green. And um, yeah, keep keep an eye on that play. And as you're playing, you'll actually be accumulating free money, I guess, to, to spend as well to play. Um, so even last night, for example, I had another few bucks. I went into my account, put in my four digit pin and uh, had a few extra bucks to keep playing with on top of that, that I had earned from my slot play. Even when you're on the properties, if you're going to restaurants or things like that, some of them will actually scan your card as well. So you can get more comps. I don't know if anyone in Falls U does that, but I know when you're in Vegas, for example, they will, uh, they will recommend that you show your card as well, because then they can see everything you're doing. And sometimes at the end of your stay, you can say, do I have any comps available for, and they'll, they'll comp your, you know, your restaurant bill or, you know, resort fees or things like that. So I definitely recommend signing up for casino card. That's my preference. That's what I would recommend. If you're not comfortable, you think that they're going to track your spending or whatever the case is, then don't do it. Don't sign up for it at the end of the day. But for me, it's a huge, huge plus to do it. Anyway, is this spot right for you? I would definitely say that the days in, uh, falls you days in, I must specify. Um, is definitely for the budget conscious traveler. It tends to be one of the cheaper options when you want to stay closer to the casino in the sort of Falls View neighborhood. So um, yeah, I, and I'd say family wise, it's probably pretty good for families as well because they do have that outdoor pool. Our room setup had two beds. So I mean, if you are here with a couple, you know, your kids or whatever, at least you have a couple beds. Um, you can get adjoining rooms if you want, you know, the kids to have their room, you to have your own room. You can do that as well. So I would say it's definitely a very family friendly hotel and a very budget friendly hotel typically. But yeah, make sure you guys do your homework, do your research and make sure you check out all the rates to see if you're going to get the best rate. And the other thing that I actually will mention about this days in location 
is that they do actually send email offers as well. And quite often the rates that they send in their emails are actually better than any of the posted rates that you can find on any other website. So if you are, you know, in, in sort of looking for different options, I would recommend that as well. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, consider subscribing, please like the video and please leave a comment. Um, it actually really does help the algorithm. I have noticed that when you guys leave me comments, I do tend to get more views after that and uh, it helps other travelers as well if we guys have that sort of open community and and a place where we can all kind of come together and and chat and you know i try to respond to pretty much every comment even if someone's asking me you know recommendation of where to eat or where to stay or anything like that i always try to help and i always do try to respond to, to every comment i receive maybe because i don't really receive that many but uh yeah make sure you guys uh, send me some love i would really appreciate it and again it really really does help the algorithm and it will help other travelers find this video and help them make an informed decision for when they're booking their next hotel anyway i better get my stuff packed up we gotta hit the road get back to toronto um thank you again for coming today's in with me and uh, thank you to false you for the comp tickets to colin joe's last night um, anyway, this has been Daniel with Spotlight, and uh, I guess we'll see you in the next one. Bye.